The director of elections for the NDC, Elvis Ifriyankar, says the MPP's allegation of communist inferior tactics are laughable in the face of the incontrovertible evidence. Nanado, before he became a member of parliament, Chibi, that election was one of the bloodiest in the history of this country. Uruo Kwamufa almost lost his life. You don't believe me? Okay. Which year was this? This is uh, 1996. Yes. Now let's come to um, his own party, internal issues. Uh -huh. You saw what happened? The little people, the, the thugs going to the party to go and forcibly remove people, Kwabne uh, Japon, acid pouring, even the primaries. Okay, now let's come to when, before he even became um, um, president, they brought people from South Africa to come and train them. You see, when you sow a seed, uh, that seed will germinate, grow, and produce fruits. Those guys that, are, that were trained, they are the ones that have matured and grown and are engaging in all these things. Then you come to when they took office. First week, Superintendent Nankabus was beaten to pop at the Flagstaff house. Video evidence. What happened? They didn't follow the matter. They were rather interested in the person who did the video and leaked it. Nothing happened. Subsequently, their own Ashanti Regional Security Coordinator, beaten, dragged down the stacks, humiliated. Nothing happened to those boys. Third, they went to Gapoha to go and meet. Their, uh, there was a program there. Their boys came there and came and disrupted the meeting. Nothing happened. The guys who disrupted, who beat up the Ashanti Regional Security Officer, were sent to court. What happened? They went to the court, scattered the place, and dealt with the woman. The, a judge, it's never happened before. What happened? Nothing. So all these things have been going on. Nothing, absolutely nothing has happened to them. Then they brought the vigilantism bill. I had my doubts. Uh, people said, well, you go ahead and, you know, let's sign it and let's go ahead with the Peace Council here, meetings here. What has happened? There's a vigilantism bill as we speak today. And yet, they are the ones who are training these guys. Where will we opposition go and get AK-47 from? AK-47 and pistols all over. These guys in khaki and, and black, wearing hood and mask in public places. Where will we go and get these people from? So it is, that's why I keep saying it is a state-sponsored activity. And until we deal with that and stop beating about the bush speaking mellifluous English, we are not going to be able to solve this problem. The state, led by Nana Akufuado, commander-in-chief of the Ghana Armed Forces, has a responsibility. If he says those guys should withdraw and stop what they are doing and disband them, it will, they will be disbanded tomorrow.